This is my fourth video today, and I haven't liked any of them. So, it's now late in the afternoon, and I'm going to have a beer. I don't, I don't, actually this is uh, for the Shinerbach. I've never had this before. Um, I bought, it's a uh, six pack. It was the Shiner Family Reunion, and this was one of them. I'm not a real big drinker. I don't drink very often and I certainly don't drink beer very often. I, um, I've just never really been a beer person. Although I did, I did drink beer when I was younger, when I would go out with friends. Cause you know, that's, can you go out to the bar? That's what you do, right? You have a beer. I couldn't afford the mixed drinks at the bar. So you have a beer cause they're nice and cheap and whatever. It tastes like beer. Bia. It's bia. Um, it was 1997. I was going out quite a bit with some friends of mine. We would go out every Friday to the same bar and hang out with our friends. It was just what we did. And I never did really enjoy the beer. I drank, um, I know it's... It's stupid, but I drank Red Dog. I like the bottle, the can. I like the artwork. I know, it was really a dumb reason to drink the beer, but I didn't really like beer that much, so it was like, yeah, I like the dog. Anyway. So, August 31st, it was I think it was a Friday or Saturday night. I decided that when I was out with my friends, I said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to quit drinking. I'm just, I'm just not going to have any more. And I only drank either one night a week. It's not like I drank regularly. Um, but I said, you know, I just, I don't really enjoy it and I'm going to just not drink it. So I just, just decided I was going to quit drinking for a year. A few weeks later, I don't know how many weeks, um, I'm in my office. I worked at a university and I worked in the student center. I worked for Student Life and um, she was a student worker uh, in the student center office and she came down for something. I don't even remember what it was. I, I did work for all the um, units as we called them in student life and the student center was within that um so she was in my office about something we were chit-chatting about i don't even know how i got started she said something about she had quit drinking uh some time ago and i said oh, oh i quit drinking too i quit drinking um and just thought it was it was I don't know. I, I said the date, August 31st, and um, however many weeks it had been. Um, and she's like, oh, you know, really? I said, yeah, I, I just, you know, I didn't really care for it. I just decided to quit, maybe quit for a year. I don't know. We'll just see. I didn't really think much of it. And she was very, very interested in the fact that I quit drinking. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, so she started coming by my office um, fairly regularly, usually on Mondays asking me how my weekend was and had I, you know, had anything to drink. I'm like, no. And I guess I, it just never occurred to me that she would think I had a problem. Um, and I guess she sort of became my unofficial sponsor. I'm not really even sure how that happened, but she would come and she'd check on me and um, talk to me about drinking and, and all this. And I'm like, you know, I don't, I just didn't like it. I just didn't want to drink she's like well you know I'm I'm a recovering alcoholic and um you know it's been I think it was over a year or something like that since she had had a drink and I was like that's wonderful you know just I was trying to be very supportive I you know I didn't actually know we were having some sort of meeting um and so you know time would go by and she would continue to talk to me and I and I would tell her I don't have a drinking problem I just didn't really care for drinking and I decided just to quit and the only reason I remembered the date was because that was the day Princess Diana died that was the only reason I knew 
when I decided to quit drinking. And, and, and because I knew the date, I must be an alcoholic in her mind. She said, you don't know the date you quit drinking if it's not a problem for you. And I said, it's not a problem for me. It was just a monumental event that happened. I think the death of Princess Diana was big news. So it's, it's another one of those events that, you know, I, I know where I was. And that's the only reason I remember the date. Well, that, that just, it wasn't good enough for her. And, and she would, you know, continue to check on me. And some months later, I get this inner office package. I'm like, what is this giant thing coming in? You know, what is that? And it had no name on the outside of it other than my own in my mailbox. And I open it and it is an Alcoholics Anonymous book with the chapter of denial paper clipped and then the entire chapter was just about yellow highlighted. Um, so she was convinced that I was just in denial. And of course it sounded like I was because I did, I read the highlighted parts and it was like, you know, you deny you have a problem and, and it was just, it was textbook really. I can understand her apprehension in believing me, but she never did. Um, believe me that I wasn't an alcoholic. I, I have since got rid of the book when I moved, but I kind of wish I still had it now just so I could show you. I, it just, it was like, oh, seriously. And so the year goes around and it's August 31st. And I get another little thing in the inner office mail and it is a birthday card. Happy first birthday which you get when you have a year of sobriety, it's they consider it your birthday when you quit smoking, I mean quit smoking, when you quit drinking, it's your birthday. So I get this birthday card and then she comes down and, and she's like, I, you know, gives me a giant hug and I'm really proud of you. And I'm like, uh, okay, that's, wow, okay. I, I um, thank you. And I, it, I felt really awkward because, you know, she was pouring her heart out about her drinking and, and everything and I was you know protesting that I was not an alcoholic uh, and I barely drank as it was I just decided I didn't want to drink anymore so yeah it just it just sort of after the year was over it just sort of tapered off because I never did stop denying that I wasn't an alcoholic but after the first year was over she was on to other people and other things and so uh, yeah it, it seemed to get better about that but man, I just, I couldn't convince her. So I, you know, and even this, I'm like, meh. I'm not even sure why. I, I like the idea of kind of having a beer every once in a while. I really do. And when people are drinking it, it looks so good. They just look like they're enjoying it so much. And I'm like, meh, meh. I do like a uh, uh, Captain and Coke. But even then, I don't, I don't ever really drink a lot of it. I just, yeah.